And just when the public starts catching on to that the experts may be telling us a story, we move on to the next realm of drugs. Something stinks. Later, two questions remain. This propaganda this piece exposes the pharmaceutical industry, but the Hollywood television the documentary production style smells like shit. If you have time to play, watch the whole three hours and try to figure out what they're protecting. This seems like predictive programming created by the bad guys themselves to lead the general public to lose faith in the people they previously trusted. A confusing disorder is being created to clear the path for a new pharmaceutical free market. The end game is an economy whereby the slaves choose to diagnose themselves, or at least prefer licking their computers and trusting what the telemarketer tells them to consume. Today's naive doctors are tomorrow's useless middlemen. All diseases are easily diagnosed because the solution is always the same. There's no more medical treatment for poor people anymore. They get the one-size-shits-on-all diagnosis in medicine. Drugs and drug addiction. Part of the canola psyop is to make everybody feel like they can be a doctor too. This is just a phase, an initial phase towards the end game. Look all around. Everybody is perfectly programmed to be good little hall monitors and scout leaders and instant doctor saviors of the world, diagnosing the sniffles, taking everybody's temperature like good little Cracker Jack soldiers working the front lines of the hoax care industry, concealing their identities in public. Pointing guns at everybody's head is normal and necessary and to be expected and enforced by complete do-gooding strangers who want to save your life. Everybody who watches television is now a certified medical genius professional, perfectly qualified and morally obligated to judge the living and the dead. With a power of magically compiled statistics of all their neighborly enemies as reported by the television talkers, stupid people can proudly join the church army by doing all of the dirty work for the bad guys and then go to sleep at night feeling like saints, having saved the world of imaginary murders from imaginary disease. Now that the teenage know-it-alls of the world have been successfully pre-programmed with fear porn and bullshit, the only thing left is to stock the streets with vending machines. The pharmaceutical industrialists want people buying addiction like candy and trusting every cartoon. Lay your hand on the TV Guide Digest and repeat after me. The almighty government loves you. In the name of Canola, his son Covades, and the blessing of Vax inoculation. Amen. Business was going so well that a group of prominent psychiatrists met in Puerto Rico in 1967 to lay out the expansion of psychotropic drug use for the year 2000. According to organizing psychiatrist Dr. Wayne O. Evans, Psychomedication is now an accepted way of life, and the search for the just right pill has become the goal for many people.